Ryan Poles spoke to the media and pretty much detailed his plans regarding the right tackle spot. He said, when you get to this point of free agency, it drops off. The salaries drop off. The talent, the experience drops off. And you have a wave of players offensively and defensively that will wait until after the draft to sign because they kind of want to see how everything settles. So we'll keep an eye on those players. But right now, to improve our team, I think we got to look to the NFL draft. Great points here by Ryan Poles. Something people overlook. The remaining free agents, a lot of them don't want to sign somewhere and then have that team draft someone at the same position and they end up on the bench. They would rather wait until after the draft and then find the best fit. Free agency will be slow from now until the draft. It's time to shift focus to the NFL draft and how to find a right tackle. Nothing is out of the realm of possibility yet. Poles could like someone on the roster, he could wait for a vet, but the more and more I think about this NFL draft class, I think right now two players stand out when it comes to the number 9 pick. Those two guys are Paris Johnson Jr. and Broderick Jones. They are universally viewed as the top two tackles in the NFL draft. Both are long, athletic players that fit Ryan Poles' mold. I think either guy would be a perfect fit to come in and fill this giant hole at right tackle. After I finish my All-22s on Tremaine Edmonds and TJ Edwards, I will be doing scouting reports on both of these offensive tackles. But today I wanted to compare them a little bit before I go too deep into my scouting. I believe as we set here today, these two guys should be heavy favorites to be selected at number 9 overall if Poles doesn't make another move to trade down on draft day. So let's get right into it. First up is Paris Johnson Jr., who just happens to be Justin Fields' former teammate. He has the versatility to play left tackle, or he could even move inside to guard. But he looks like the perfect prospect to come in and take the right tackle job. He's six foot six, 313 pounds, with 36 plus inch arms and over an 85 inch wingspan. He looked awesome at the combine and at his pro day, but he declined to run the 40 yard dash, so he doesn't have an RAS score. Projections say he would easily score over a 9. He played one year at right guard and spent the last season as the starting left tackle for Ohio State. He's a little bit more technically advanced than Broderick Jones, but I'll dig deeper into that in the scouting reports. Let's talk about Broderick now. He's also a guy that could play left or right tackle, but his power and nasty demeanor seem perfect for the right tackle position to me. I've been back and forth on which guy I've liked better all offseason long. I wouldn't mind having either one, but Jones next to Jenkins would form the meanest right side in the NFL, while Paris Johnson and Tev could make the most athletic right side. Both are exciting to me. Broderick Jones is 6'5", 311 pounds, with 34 and 3 quarter inch arm length and a wingspan of almost 83 inches. His arms aren't quite as long, but his wingspan is almost there. Like Paris, he's very long, athletic, and powerful. Neither guy is a finished product yet, but both have Pro Bowl potential with proper coaching. I think drafting either guy would solidify our offensive line and really raise my expectations for this offense this season. I don't think Poles has to draft a tackle in the first round, but right now he's set himself up perfectly to do this. So I will be doing scouting reports on both of these offensive tackles over the next week or so. I do think there are some other intriguing tackles that should be there on day two. Guys like Jalen Duncan, Matthew Bergeron, Tyler Steen, or even Blake Freeman. The bottom line is Ryan Poles is going to build this team through the draft. It makes so much sense to invest these high draft picks into the trenches on offensive and defensive line. I've spoke about the trenches literally since before the season even ended. All during the season as well, I spoke about how we need to improve the offensive line and defensive line. And Poles has set himself up perfectly to do that in the NFL draft. Fans that are complaining that he hasn't fixed the offensive line and defensive line yet, I feel like they just don't see the whole picture. So I try my best to paint that picture for you guys so you can see what I see. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments. I think right now we still need a right tackle. 
Alex Leatherwood and Larry Borum are options, but they don't make me feel too comfortable. Stay tuned, guys. I'm working on some all 22s and got a ton more videos coming. This is still the most important offseason in Chicago Bears history, and I'm going to be here every day covering you guys. Please hit that like button for me, and until next time, bear down.